assets folder, a lot of stuff. So all this stuff right here, these are all the files that Unity uses. Um, later we'll get into what all these files actually are and how you'll play around with them and how you'll actually contribute some stuff. But in the meantime, just know that that is our project. So how do we use it in Unity? Well, let's start by launching Unity. Let's let that go. All right. So after Unity launches, what we're going to do is go to File, Open Project. And you can see it'll say an island demo or any, any other projects that you've already made. Uh, we'll go to Open Other. And you're going to navigate to that folder that you made. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to hit Project Garcia select folder and right now it's importing everything from our project so uh, right now at the moment at the time of me doing this tutorial um, there's only one scene and it's just a test scene um, how we'll access that um, is we'll go to file open scene so uh, it's probably a little weird for you guys you know you just open the project now why do we have to open up a scene um, that's mainly because a project can have multiple scenes uh, think of scenes as levels more or less okay so after um, you open the test scene um, you should be greeted with a pretty bland looking game uh, it just looks like a 3D plane, um, and that is because all of our demo stuff is right there. We're just zoomed out really far, so uh, this is probably going to be the same case for you the first time you open it. Um, so what we do is we have to zoom in. Normally, the easy way to zoom in is to just, just use the mouse wheel, but we're kind of far away, so easier way. Go to the uh, hierarchy here and select any of these objects. Just click a cube, and then you're going to hit F on your keyboard, and that'll zoom right into that object. Zoom around, zoom out a little bit. Okay. There we go. So now we can actually kind of see our scene there. So, this is the 3D scene view so we can kind of navigate around look at our little demo level that we've been working on you can manipulate objects in any way click on them move them on different axes yada 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 and again you can hit play and it will go to the in game or the real time player and we can play this right in here Alright. <laughs> okay, so that's enough of that. Um, this tutorial isn't about how to use Unity yet. This is just setting up so you can use it, so you can play around with it. So, um, and now, now that the project is set up, what we want to do is look at how we update all of our changes. So let's say I've made some changes here. I'm just gonna let's see, I'm just gonna make a quick little change. Um, I'm gonna take this cube and tell it to not cast shadows. Um, <laughs> that's a Unity Pro thing, freaking Josh. Anyways, um, I'm gonna hit Save Scene. So I just made a little change to it, and now if I minimize Unity. Hey, look at that. Our project folder has a little exclamation mark. Now, if we go in it, we can see our assets folder still has a check mark, but our library folder got, a, got quite a bit of exclamation marks in here. What those exclamation mark means are those are files that I have changed. Um, so basically, you see any exclamation mark here? Please, please commit. Um, you just, you know, 
do a bunch of work and never commit your stuff, it's never going to be in the project. So please commit and, you know, commit as often as you make like a pretty large change. I mean, obviously I didn't make a huge change, but it's just for the sake of the demo, assume I did make a huge change. So what I'll do now is I'll right click our folder and we can see two options here. We can see SVN commit, SVN update, and our good old little SVN uh, menu. Well, this time what we're going to do is SVN commit. Um, SVN commit is more or less upload. SVN update is more or less download. So SVN commit. Okay, so you'll be greeted with this little box that comes up. And uh, this box it will let you select um, all the different files that have been changed. Um, when you open this box the first time, this little checkbox might be checked, the show unversion files. If it is, just go ahead and uncheck that because that's going to show a bunch of unnecessary files that do not need to be uploaded. Um, so if I uncheck that box, you can see all that crap went away. Um, uh, so these are the actual files that got modified and then up here you see a little text box to type stuff in This is your log notes. This is where you will type in All changes that you've made to the project now. This is very very important if I see a bunch of commits made by you with you know No logs or bad logs, you know, I'm gonna get on your butt about it uh, so uh, didn't really do much this time, but either way, I'm just going to put um, changed cute object to no shadows demo. Okay, so obviously, you know, if you do a lot of changes, you're going to want to put everything in there. You know, you don't have to go you know, write a paragraph on everything you did, but, you know, if you made a lot, you know, your your log should be pretty big. Uh, and then after that, I'm just going to hit OK. And then it's going to bring up this good old box, and that is going to start committing all of the changes. After it says complete, you're good, hit OK. And we should see our good old check mark. Um, just remember, if you don't see a check mark, you should probably commit. Everything else in there should be good now. All right, looks good, looks good. And okay, so let's say um, it's been a couple days, and um, I want to start working on the project again, um, but I don't know if uh, anyone's edited anything or if you know there's been any changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my project folder, I'm going to right click it, I'm going to go to SVN update. What that's going to do is it's going to pull the latest version off the server. Uh, we can see I'm already at the latest version, so we can see what revision we're at. Um, if there's any files that need to be updated, it would have done it right there. We hit OK. And that's more or less all you have to do to update your project. So now I can open up Unity and everything in here should be up to the latest version. Okay, and then one other thing that you guys probably want to know, this will come in handy, is the log. So, if we right click our project folder, and we go to our little menu this time, uh, the one thing that will be um, relevant to you is the show log. So if I click that, um, this will pull up a log of all the revisions made to the SVM. So we can see here, um, we can see the commit that I made uh, during this demo. We can see the message that I made. We can see what time I did it. We can also see the user that did it. Um, we can see that what Josh uploaded um, not too long ago. So we can see the date. We can see Josh did it. Um, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, the, the, the log will come in handy if you need to look back and see, you know, what has been changed. Um, and you can also do other cool stuff like revert back to that revision, but I wouldn't recommend that you guys do that. If we need to be reverted, you know, uh, just send me a message or something, I'll take care of it. But again, if you want to look back at the logs, this is how you look back at it.
and you can 